Hi, I'm Sean Kimbera. I'm known for making uh, social justice quilts. And so today I wanted to talk to you about the ones that I've made that have used self-portraits in them. First, I'd like to show you a little bit of my raw edge applique uh, technique. And so it involves having an image that you want to project and two-tone is mostly what I do. And so then I use two fabrics, two different colors, just stacked one on top of the other. Whichever one you want to be, the background fabric should be the one you put on bottom, and then you stack another layer. And then layer your image on top, then pin through the layers, and then with a very short and narrow zigzag stitch, you stitch along the outlines of the image that you have. And so I'll show you how that goes here. And so I just take it really slow, guiding around the edge. Just simply zigzagging on the outline. And you can actually get very detailed images to come out this way. And it's really not all that difficult. This is a nice way to make sure that you're getting all your contours right without cutting out ahead of time. And so that's what it looks like as you're stitching. And then you'll come through and simply tear the paper off and then cut around the parts of the fabric where you want to expose the orange, your background color, or if you want to keep something in relief. I use these images to make quilts that make statements, and so I'd like to show you a couple of those now. In the quilt world overall, I found that it's difficult to find representations of me and people like me. And so I decided to start making quilts that actually just projected my image onto them. Uh, so the image that I was just stitching at the machine um, appears in this quilt here, which is self-study number one. It appeared at the first quilt con and won first place for applique. Um, so here is actually a political statement where I'm saying that the contours of a black woman's face are, are worthy of presentation in our environment. And um, it's further political because I use Civil War fabrics in a modern style. So just understanding that that doesn't make some things not modern. Uh, in, through making this, I actually had a great discovery of my own, which is that I realized that I actually do look like my mother. I'd never actually thought about the shape of my face and what changes had happened as I aged. And this, so I suddenly felt like a different person by making this quilt. But quilts also have to have meaning for me. And so it wasn't enough just to make images of my face, but I wanted to make a statement about what's going on in our society. And um, so a, in a situation that was pretty important to me was the death of Trayvon Martin, who was a 14-year-old boy in Sanford, Florida, who was unarmed and um, a, a victim of a situation. And in that moment, the response to his killing was focused on the clothing he was wearing. He was wearing a hoodie sweatshirt, and uh, many people made statements like, well, if he wasn't wearing the hoodie, then he wouldn't have appeared dangerous. And this, this kind of resonated in ways that were uncomfortable to me. And so it was nice to see in the aftermath online that there was a meme. People took selfies of themselves wearing hoodies, and it was neat to see all the different perspectives that you would get and the images that were projected. So I took two-tone self-portraits of myself, placing light sources in different places so that I would appear different in each one. And so I came up with four different images that I thought were representations of this situation. 
So there's the fearsome one. I had no idea that I had the capacity to appear dangerous. And uh, so it was actually shocking for me when I went through the photos after my photo shoot and found this one in there. So that was very important to connect to the Trayvon situation. But uh, there were other ways that I appeared in the same photo shoot. So a very contemplative portrait, um, which I not sure if you can see it, but you'll see me in profile here. And then the blue one where I look like I'm a nun in a habit, just sort of in prayer, uh, considering the situation. But then finally, there's one of not resignation, but having to walk away just to be able to contemplate what had happened and what it had done to me. Um, I think it's very important that we try to express ourselves and achieve catharsis through our quilting. And this is just one way that I do it. I hope you'll try some too.